hey beautiful welcome back to the channel my name is hope and in today's video we'll be reviewing the disa sunblock cream spf cream if this is your first time of stopping by my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button yes and turn on post notification and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you thanks for always stopping by so without wasting much of our time let's get right into the video so guys for this video we'll be talking about the disa sunblock cream here and this is what we'll be talking about today the disa sunblock we all know the importance of sunscreen sunscreen acts or sunblocks act as a shield um, protecting your skin from uh, sun UV rays so you need sunscreen in your in your skincare routine yes it's after it's like the last thing you apply on your skin before going out in the sun and then we know that the sun is not friendly we we all know that the sun is not is nobody's friend and when he wants to burn your skin he's not going to think but he's not even going to consider your age your it's my scarf let me adjust it a little bit it's not going to consider your age, your gender, what the, your, your height. It's not going to even think about your anything about you. It's just going to come and damage the skin if you allow it. So yeah, that is why it is very important to find a very good sunblock or a sunscreen with at least SPF 30 to help protect your skin against sunlight. So um, during one of my researches on getting an affordable um, sunscreen or sunblock, for a video that I wanted to do, so I now got this one. Yes, the good thing about it is that the price point is, is really affordable, it's 1500 naira. So that was the more reason I got it because I wanted to make an affordable skincare video for you guys. Yeah, if you check in my previous um video, the affordable skincare for beginners. So that was why I, this is the first one I got. That was why I got it because I wanted to use it for the video because it is quite um affordable. So I went, I got home and I tried it. Man, let's wait and see the reaction because we're going to try it together right now. And we're going to, you guys are going to be the judge of this product if it's good enough. So it is SPF 90 and then um, it says it is waterproof. So we're going to try this together. We're going to see if it leaves, uh, if it leaves white cast yes so um let me some of the ingredients uh water ethics guys see if i cannot pronounce anyone you guys should just take it like that i cannot come and break my teeth <laughs> okay but i'll be picking out the ones that can really pronounce very well the ones i can't maybe we'll skip it okay ethy hexyl methyl oh no 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 titanium dioxide we all know that one homo sal Proplane glycol, we know that one. <laughs> Botulin glycol, and a whole lot more, guys. I really cannot go through all this because it will make our video very long. I saw that it was, um, it had UVA slash UVB protection, so I felt like, okay, this is actually a good one because apart from uh, uh, protecting you from uh, the sun rays, it also protects you against um, burns. But I don't, I can't say the same about this um, product. This is it. You can see that I've not even used it. You can see it's still very full because, I mean, after the first, without talking too much, let's just apply it. So here is what it looks like. And then we'll be using the two finger rules to apply this sun block, sunscreen. So here, I'll be applying this. So here, this is it. We just gently massage this into the skin. Don't forget your neck. I'm going to put this all over our neck. 
So this is the struggle I go through when I try to use this sunscreen. So you can see how it's already looking like a face mask already. Imagine going out like this. <laughs> Imagine going out like this, guys. So we have to keep massaging it. Now, for one, it is greasy. It is greasy. Like, very greasy. So we're going to leave this for about 10, 15 to 20 minutes and see. And then I'll come back to show you guys. We're going to leave it. Let's leave it for 20 minutes. We're going to leave this for 20 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So guys, I'm back. This is um, over 20 minutes. This, okay, this is 20 minutes of um, waiting. So I'll be blending it um, again into my skin. So let's start blending again. Now I'm going to tell you guys what this sunblock slash sunscreen did to me. You see the first time I tried it, I was thinking it was like other sunscreens and this was how I looked. And I was about to go out and apply my face serum, my moisturizer and I said okay let me um, go out. Mm, guys, you won't even believe it. So I had to go wash my face completely all over again. Then I asked, applied just a little amount because at that time it was really sunny and I didn't want to go out without a sunscreen. My dear people, it was as it was as good as not even using a sunscreen because I got burnt badly. Like my face darkened real bad. I broke out. I broke out and I was sweating. My sweat was white. <laughs> you guys, eh? You won't even imagine. So, if you're thinking of buying this sunscreen, hmm, if you're thinking of buying this sunscreen, please, oh, I'll tell you to, to change your mind immediately. Because this one, I, once, I had to keep it because of this review. Because once we're done with this review, it's going straight into the trash can. Because I broke out really bad. Like, when I'm telling you really bad, I couldn't even make any video at that time. My whole face was dark. I got really massive sunburn. As a matter of fact, if I'd even if you had seen my face, if I'd shown you guys maybe side the sides of my corners of my face before applying this, you will still see a little scar from the um, sunburn because I'm still treating it. Guys, I had to go into serious treating of sunburns because I used it for about two three days. You understand? So I'll just apply a little amount of it, and then I was going into the sun. Meanwhile, when you if you want to get in uh, the full SPF of your sunscreen you need at least a two finger rules like we just tried on and i can't be going out looking like a like a masquerade i can't be going out looking like this guys so i said okay let me use a little amount instead of not using a sunscreen at all and trust me i regretted it yes so if you're thinking of buying this this uh, sunblock i'm going to this is not me trying to um talk down on any product you can see it live and direct you can see it here this is like it's not even going into the skin it's just on top it's just staying like this it's going nowhere this guy is going nowhere so can you see it this was how my face was looking after the, the very first day i applied it so i decided to go wash my face and i said for like the fourth time i now said okay since i'm inside the house i'm not going out let me still apply the sunscreen because i still need a sunscreen because of the sun uv rays so i said let me still apply maybe just a little amount but to apply all over my face and my neck and stayed indoors guys apart from the fact that i was looking like a masquerade even with using one hand i got really dark really really dark even though i wasn't using a lightning product on my face prior to this like guys i got really dark i got like really burnt and aside that i got very big huge bones on my face i couldn't go out without makeup it's so painful that if i can find any of the if i don't i don't remember taking pictures during that time but if i can find any picture i'm going to put it in this video so that you guys could see how my face was as at that time so 
if you in, if you intend buying this Disa sunblock, this particular one in SPF 90, I don't know if they have other ranges of sunblocks that are better. But if you're thinking of buying this very one, I would advise you not to because it would be a waste of your money. Yes. And the thing is, it leaves a huge white cast. Apart from leaving that, who go, can you go out like this? So guys, if you're thinking of investing into this, I would advise you not to. And if you do, if you had already bought it and you still say, let me manage it. Well, skins differ, right? So maybe you might not break out as much as I did. So I got really crazy breakout, tiny breakout here and there. And then, so it took a lot of time to start working on my skin again. And if you intend buying this or you've already bought it, please don't just look at the money you've spent just go and trash it so like your skin might not react the same way mine reacted but trust me you don't want to go out with a huge white cast on your face so this is going straight into the trash after this video because this is the only reason why i kept it till this time to make this video and i wanted my face to heal before i come back here to show you guys so if you find this video helpful guys please give this video a thumbs up Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be bringing you lots of reviews and I have a lot of things cooking up for you guys. So I'll be bringing much more reviews on different products that I've tried out. So if you like to see more of my videos, you can see my hand. Imagine seeing me like this in your dream. <laughs> so if you find this video helpful, please guys, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.